Hi guys. So as you can see, today I've turned the phone on its side and I'm gonna show you a little fix I've gotta do on the canvas on Her Majesty, Exmoor trim canvas. Although these sides are rolled up at the moment, um, when they are released and come down to fix, they are held in this corner here um, by a small brass pin, which fits into there. That's what it looks like. I think these are only really unique to the 80 inch models. And in order to hold the corner of the tilt in place, that pin fits in there. And because it's got a kink in it, um, it means you can pull that tight. It's very basic medieval tech, as I would call it. Um, and the problem is that, although that side's okay, on the other side, the pin has snapped. Um, now, these pins are available from Exmoor Trim. That's where the hood came from. I, on the other hand, uh, managed to find the old ropes from my old canvas when I was tidying up the garage um, a week or so ago. And these have got some original brass pins on them that I'm gonna reuse. It's the bit we're talking about. Like I say, you can get these um, if you need them from Exmoor Trim. And in order to swap it, I just have to pull the rope out to thread this back through again afterwards. And um, slide the old one off the end. As you can see, um, you need a nice long one to secure the hood properly. Now I've seen so-called Land Rover specialists saying you have to buy a new hood with modern fabric because the old ones flap around too much um, and it spoils the driving experience. Um, that's all a load of bollocks if you don't mind me saying. All you need to do is make sure you fit the standard hood, original canvas like this one, um, properly using the proper fixings. Uh, I've seen so many people putting these hoods on wrong. Um, going back to this little part that I put this morning, um, this little brass hook really which fits into the galvanized capping there and allows you to pull the whole of that rope along there and hold the canvas very tight against the side of the Land Rover um, and also um, on the inside you've got to make sure you do these up as well it looks a bit loose uh, but it's completely fine for driving um, just do what it was designed to do. And of course, the beauty of the original very simple hoods is that they take no time at all to roll back up, even though you can see then I'd forgotten to undo the strap on the inside. You don't have to worry about all these snap fast fittings. Um, this is what it was designed to do. And of course, it wouldn't be a proper day Land Rovering if we didn't have a little drive. It's always a good idea to keep these old girls on their toes. Now I'm gonna be doing a full walk around of Her Majesty in a future episode, but for now, I'll just tell you she's a 1951 80 inch Series 1 Land Rover, a two litre engine, gonna be 69 this year. Lucky enough to have a 
little bit of land behind the house that I can exercise the Land Rovers in each day. Some inclines, some off-road, some forest trails, woodland trails I should say, and take you into the undergrowth now. This bit in here leads um, just into a very small old quarry. It's full of a lot of leaf litter. And there's a little drop off here. Probably drops about four or five feet. It's difficult really to tell from the footage. And you've got to remember that Her Majesty is 69 years old. Uh, I don't know how old that is in human years, um, but she's an old girl does well and she's meant to be driven so I'm not gonna worry too much about the paintwork and as always we'll finish off with a little rinse now if you enjoyed that and you'd like to see more hit the subscribe button